Hi, um, what I wanted to show now was just sort of the basic layout of the panel um, once I mount all of the solar arrays on it and I also mainly want to show um, the uh, reflectors uh, that I made. Basically this is uh, 1 8 thick birch, use contact uh, cement and uh, some aluminum foil and the idea is for the solar concentrator that these panels here would would focus the lights on the on the uh, on the solar panels these reflectors would let me zoom out a little bit just to kind of show you what that is like so basically I've got the 1 8 plywood the solar panels mounted here we're going to attach some hinges there and there and these rays will be adjustable and uh, and controlled the reflectors will be adjustable and controlled by the uh, by the chip kit we've got there that is uh, 60 degrees now let me just kind of show you with this light here what that does is the light shines in and hits that reflector you can see it's shining there on the solar panels The basic idea is, is that on low light days, uh, these panels would, or these reflectors would be set at 60 degrees, and the whole thing would be pointed towards the sun to consume, basically, uh, the dimension from here, this end, all the way to this end is about 13, 13 inches, versus uh, this is six, so we're, we're going to be pulling in twice the amount of sunlight, uh, you know, give or take because the reflectors aren't perfect because I'm not using mirrors but um, anyway just wanted to kind of show that to you as the panel would get hotter the controller would reduce the angle to 45 degrees like this and what you see here is actually the light is directed over the panels and, uh, and reflected back out of the entire thing so that they're only basically going to be getting the incident light uh, directly from the sun at that point. So that's what you do in the high heat situations. Um, these two will be fixed. Can I have a motor um, mechanism on the back? Um, that'll be the next thing. I just wanted to take a moment and talk about some of the parts that uh, that I've begun to make for um, you know for the uh, for the sunflower assembly and the reflectors and all of that sort of thing and kind of hard to tell what we've got here but most of it is um little brackets and things like this a uh, piece of little bar and it's made out of um this three quarter uh inch uh one eighth inch thick aluminum strap or some of it is this three quarter inch uh one inch thick aluminum uh, L bracket here uh, that I've made some of the brackets. It's really it's been sort of a lot of just kind of cutting the length and and drilling some holes and that sort of thing. I want to show you a little bit of the setup, but just to kind of give you an idea of some of the assembly, um, these are some pieces that are just sort of kind of fitted together, uh, mounting a motor and and that sort of thing. And it's kind of hard to describe what it's going to be like, um, except to just sort of show you. Now this is a setup that I've got on my drill press for drilling my holes. Um, the way I've designed it, most of the holes are at the same um, level as uh, as all of the other holes. So what I can do is I can just set up kind of this sort of a fence thing with these um, braces and stuff here and a piece of scrap wood and just kind of move and, and set the piece where I want it and come down and drill uh, kind of like that. The... Um, I've also got kind of little, you probably can't see it on the camera, but I've got marks down here because a lot of the distances that I'm using on these brackets are the same. Uh, when I screw them down, uh, it'll be it'll be neat to see it come together. I just wanted to take a second and show this. Um, this is a piece of rod that I'm going to be using on um, the solar panels on the bottom 
to uh, try to extend and what I need is I need to just kind of cut a little groove um, on the end of it so that it will fit in a hole pretty nice and square kind of like this one it's kind of hard to pick up on camera but if you look at that it's just a little bit smaller there on the end and so I wanted to show sort of my setup um, a lathe can be several thousand dollars but for doing something as simple as this this is kind of what I've got I've just got a little um, wooden brace thing on my drill press and a, uh, a file that kind of goes into this fitted area I've got the height and everything set so I just cut the drill press on running at about 700 RPMs and all I do is to just kind of go back and forth here with this file until I get that groove set in there just the way I want it kind of a poor man's lathe works fairly well you'd be kind of surprised the only problem that I have is with something this small it moves a little bit as you grind on it See that? Then here it is. Here's the bracket that it's going to go in. It just fits. Here uh, on the other side of this rod, it's got to be tapped. So I'm going to use the drill press in another kind of non traditional way. I have a hard time getting these things started and making sure that they're square. So I'm actually going to use the drill press. Whoops. Well, that's a good outtake. Try it again. So I use the drill press here. Apply some pressure. There we go. Let's start this tap here. Just using this key to get a little extra leverage on it. This is an aluminum rod, so luckily the metal is kind of soft. But keep on in the vise. I've got some balsa wood there just to kind of help it. Oh, keep it from turning. That'll tighten. That's about as tight as I can get it. Just add a little bit of tapping fluid here. There we go. That should help.
got the groove. Up again. Perfect. 